Don't expect to reach your goal overnight. Take small steps and you will get organized one step at a time. Here are a few ideas to a better organize you for 2020. Home Office A great filing system is a great area to start small in your home office. Create a system that organizes all your paperwork, such as for school, automobiles, manuals, warranties, etc. A home management system, such as a binder system, is what I have for managing and organizing all my permanent and long-term documents. Number two, the kitchen. There are so many areas in the kitchen you can tackle to get organized, from storage containers to junk drawers. A great place to start is your kitchen cabinets or drawers. You may not care what lies behind your clothes cabinets or drawers. Out of sight, out of mind, right? And it's easy to feel that way until you want to grab something out of those areas and you can't either find it or something falls. Use glass mason jars to organize your dry ingredients. It's economical, comes in a variety of sizes, and you can easily see the quantity for grocery shopping. Create a baking utensil drawer for all your baking needs. A baking zone such as this one is beneficial and saves money. Use shelves to optimize the unused spaces in your cabinets. Great for dishes and glass storage. A great way to organize a drawer, shelves, or open storage is to compartmentalize. Using bins or dividers to keep like items together and it's easy to pull a bin whenever you need it. Number three, dish storage. If you like me, you might have about two or more places where you store your everyday dishes, bakeware, and even holiday dishes, if you have the room. Above my kitchen counter are my everyday dish storage, my dinnerware. This way I can easily access this and it's easy to store away from the sink and the dishwasher. My baking dishes are stored away in my kitchen island where I can easily get to them, but it's not taking up valuable kitchen storage. Here is a tip. When storing your everyday dishes, keep accessibility in mind. You want to store your everyday dishes in an area where it's easy to access them and store them away and not cause harm to yourself or the dishes when you're ready to use them. Number four, purging your linens. Let's be realistic. How often do you use your tiger stripe print towels or your bold color sheets? I know they're adorable and so cute and very hard to resist in those department stores, but I bet you, you have some towels sitting there on your shelf that you have not used in ages. A rule in my home, two sets of sheets per bedroom, one on the bed and one spare in the linen closet. Two sets of towels per guest in a bedroom. This helped me cut down on clutter and easy to manage and maintain my linens for my family and my guests. Now the more guests you have visiting, you can adjust accordingly. Now here's a tip for those of us who have a small linen closet or live in a small apartment or home. Fold your sheet sets together in a bundle or inside a pillowcase. Both are great ideas if you have minimized space on your shelf. It helps to keep your sheet sets together and available when you're ready to use them. Well, that would do it for me, my friends. I hope I gave you some ideas and inspiration how you can organize your home by using small steps to achieve your goal. If you want more information about the topics we discussed today, they are located in the iCard above. See you on the next one. If you love DIYs, decorating, organizing, and so much more, 
click the subscribe button and click the bell for new videos notification every week. Don't forget to visit my other social media platforms for ideas and tips to decorate, organize, or better your home living. Until the next time, my friends, smooches!